most things, uh, materials, can exist in each of the uh, physical states of matter, um, solid, liquid, gas, or eventually plasma, depending on their temperature. Nitrogen, for example, we ordinarily think of as a gas. Most of the atmosphere that we breathe in is nitrogen. If we inhale, about 75% or something like that of the gas that we inhale is nitrogen. But nitrogen, if you lower the temperature sufficiently, can become a liquid, and if lowered even further, can become a solid. Now, I happen to have some liquid nitrogen here um, in this uh, uh, thermos uh, bottle. It uh, looks a lot like uh, water, clear, um, but it uh, boils at 200 degrees below zero on the Celsius scale. So that if you take this liquid nitrogen and pour it out onto the tabletop, it's very much like pouring hot uh, water onto a very, very red hot stove. It just immediately flashes from the liquid into the gaseous state. And that's what happens to the nitrogen. It immediately turns into a gas, leaving uh, practically no wetting at all. So this liquid nitrogen it's about 200 degrees below zero on the Celsius scale. Many of you probably have had experience with liquid nitrogen. It's sometimes used to remove warts. If you go to a dermatologist, they sometimes use it that way. Now, I don't know exactly how the therapy works, but I can imagine. And so let me show you how I imagine that uh, warts are removed using liquid nitrogen. Perhaps this will allay any fears you have the next time you go uh, for treatment. Let's imagine for a moment that I have a wart on my finger. Now, the idea with warts, as I understand it, is they have little roots, and the roots kind of grow down into the skin. And uh, I imagine perhaps that if I got those roots very, very cold, they'd shrink, you know, shrink as most things do when you get them cold. And I have some stuff here that's very, very cold. So I'm going to imagine that if I uh, put the liquid nitrogen on the wart, the roots would shrink and they'd shrink away, and then I could just kind of tap that wart and I'd be cured. It would be gone. So let me kind of show you how that works. Now, for this purpose, this time, I think I'll uh, use a glove. But let's imagine I've got the, uh, I've got the uh, wart on my finger here, and uh, a little caustic here, so we're going to use the glove. We're going to take this and uh, make it very, very cold using the liquid nitrogen. So, in we go. Cold. 200 degrees below zero. Oh, that's cold. 200 degrees below zero. That's so cold, probably doesn't matter whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit. It's just really cold. <laughs> but it's, you can, the wart's in trouble. I mean, those roots are just shrinking away, shrinking away. You can just kind of feel them shrinking. Wart, you're in big trouble. Yeah, you're doomed. Ah, shrinking away. Now I've got to leave it in here long enough so that this... Uh, has time to do its job, and it gets pulled right loose, you know, so that that wart's just ready. So you just tap it, and off it comes. Well, it takes a moment or two. We could probably read War and Peace or something else here for a moment. Oh, very cold. Oh, cold. But it's just about ready. Now the idea is we're going to take it out, and then we're just going to tap that wart, off it'll come, and we'll be cured. All right. Well, let's take it out, and then we're going to just gently tap it. <laughs> but it worked. The warts are gone. Boy, I'm glad that's a hot dog in that glove and not my real finger. Ah! But it worked. The warts are gone. The only thing wrong with this therapy, you can only do it 10 times, and then you've got to find some other cure for your warts. Yeah. Well, what was the purpose of that last demonstration? 
Well, I'm not sure, but uh, I guess it demonstrates that materials can change their characteristics quite dramatically when you change their temperature. Um, whether it's otherwise soft rubber or uh, soft uh, um, tissue, it can become quite brittle, and then when you tap it with a hammer, uh, it shatters. Well, with that in mind, you begin to wonder what other kinds of things, uh, how other kinds of things behave if you get them very, very cold. For example, got this uh, flower here, and uh, the flower, of course, is very, very soft. And you just can't help wondering, you know, what would happen if it got very, very cold? I wonder how to change. Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll just put it in the liquid nitrogen and see what happens. Well, it boils there for a moment. And then you take it out, and it just shatters. Well, have you ever heard a flower tinkle? You have now. <laughs>